Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm looking a little crazy this morning, but today's vlog is going to be um, 24 hours with a newborn. So here we are. We just got up not too long ago. Um, it is about, I think like 8.30. Yeah, about 8.30, 8.45. So sometimes he has some awake time I'd say most of it is during the day, so he's doing pretty good with that and doing pretty well sleeping through the night, but I mean, not through the night, he's still getting up a lot to eat, um, but he is mostly awake, has a lot of awake times during the day between his feeds. Right now he's on tummy time, so <laughs> he's actually doing really well with holding his head up. Hey, Beth, how are you doing? You gonna hold that head up? You're so cute. <clears throat> I've got my trusty sidekick. He's keeping an eye on little brother too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once I get him settled, I'm actually going to pump because I usually do it in the morning. Um, just to kind of make sure I'm keeping the milk supply up and storing some a little bit so that way just in case we need any for emergencies or if we want to go out for the evening and we need some extra milk that's the plan and we'll keep you updated throughout the day someone relocated to mom's bed oh. Oh, we got seven pumpkins and eight leaves over here on his little lounger. He's gonna be needing to get fed in a minute here. So I'll probably feed him right after I finish this. Now. 
and then go outside. Okay, so now I got him down, I think, for a nap about 10 30. I can still hear him from here. Now I'm gonna try to get myself ready a little bit, do something with his hair. <laughs> every day um because you just don't have time for that but these curls will last maybe two or three days just depends on what the humidity is outside for the next few days you just never know with pennsylvania it's very humid um especially in august it was like extremely humid this year that's what i do it takes me a while because i have pretty thick hair so i have to really section it out so that way i don't miss hairs um but you can tell like this side has already fallen so much compared to this side it happens pretty quickly so that's why i just tighten them up off the bat i walked out quite a few times to check on him they, every day is different because you know a lot of times my mom is here to help me and watch him if i have to do something now what i'm gonna do is try to go pump before he wakes up um and needs to be fed again <laughs> so still haven't got to do that yet but just trying to do as much as i can and then after he gets up maybe we'll go on a walk Okay, so it's about 11.45 and he just woke up. I just literally put on chapstick, a tiny bit of concealer and some mascara, which is usually my just go-to. Um, I really want, struggled with a lot of um, hormonal acne, like in the first trimester and a little bit into the second. So I have like a lot of spots from that. And then also towards the end, um, especially like in the third trimester, I have had developed a lot of the melasma. So you can, I'm sure you guys saw it whenever I didn't have anything on. Um, and you can still see like on this side of my cheek here, um, just some freckles that, you know, really got darker and I just have some of that left over. So working on trying to get rid of that a little bit, but you know. We're just doing what we can. You just do what you can while they're sleeping. And he actually slept really well because um, he doesn't always sleep that long. Well, I guess it was about his usual. He's one of those babies that likes to eat quite often. So I usually almost never <laughs> get the three to four hour span between feedings. It's more like one and a half to two hours. Um, you know, I'm sure if you have a formula fed baby, usually they will have more time between feedings, but breast milk is more easily digestible for them. So he just goes through it so quick. So I figure I can kind of show you guys my nursing stations. Sometimes I'm on this one. <laughs> Sometimes I'm over here and what I've got, got to have the hand sanitizer around. Um, got my water, my 
and we've got the pump, <laughs> we've got a little night light, got some lotion, the lanolin, vitamin D drops, um, you know, because this is one thing that is not really in breast milk, so, you know, just have that, chapstick, tissues, the essentials. We're ready, stroller's ready, we got our remote, we've got Saber, he's at the mailbox already waiting for us. So, we have about a mile um, that this goes around the neighborhood. It's pretty much an exact mile loop. Um, so we just try to do this as much as we can. Yesterday we got in three laps, or no, four laps, um, with split between three different walks. So it just kind of depends on how long he lasts and you know what else I want to get done during the time in between feeds. But yeah, so it is a beautiful fall day. I've uh, just been loving getting outside. It was really hard to get out his first couple weeks because it was so hot and humid. Um, but now it's finally been cooling off, so it's been awesome. Just trying to get out as much as we can, take advantage of the nice weather. Um, and then also, you know, just me getting in my steps because I'm still recovering, so I can't really do like proper exercise just kind of like healing and you know doing as much walking and just regular daily activities pretty much but um tomorrow he'll be four weeks so we're getting there so i'm getting happy about that because we'll be getting back into the gym soon he is already napping so that's great he loves the walks so one thing i just wanted to say was that you know not every day looks like this but you know, when you're a mom out there and you just become a mom, you just got to remember to remember yourself and take care of yourself. And, you know, so if getting ready and looking good for the day, you know, makes you feel good. You got to take care of yourself too, because you know, always just think that, you know, if you can't take care of yourself and, you know, feel good for yourself and feel good, your baby's going to know those vibes and, um, you know, it'll help you be able to take care of your kids better. So, just make sure that you always take care of yourself, too. Hey, we just got back from our walk. He's hanging out, cooling off, working some bubbles out right now. Um, the dishwasher is done, so I'm going to do that. And then he might be ready for a feed. We did two laps. Pretty good. Maybe we'll do some activities. We'll see how long he's going to stay awake for. <laughs> okay, so now we graduated to the couch. We were trying to do a little bit of activity time on the play mat, but it didn't go over well. It lasted for a little bit. We did some tummy time. Mom got the dishes done. You got fed again. You got a diaper change. And now I might attempt to read some books to him. In the afternoon is kind of when he gets his fussy time. Definitely more awake time. But, yeah. Being fussy. Working on his head control. Huh. This is probably one of his most comforting positions. <laughs> and he's just pushing up all the time. Yeah, looking around. <laughs> there you are. What are you looking at? Are you looking at mom's drink? You got giraffes. Oh, the seal and her pup sit in the sun. I guess is this in the seal? Seal pup. <gasps> you hear it? We ended up being hungry again, and now we're probably gonna be napping soon. So he's just kinda dozing off right here for a second. 
and then I'm going to put them down. Um, but yeah, I didn't get a chance to kind of really say earlier, but I mean, pretty much I'm usually here kind of on my own, but my mom usually helps me a lot and dad's helping sometimes too. Zach is, uh, working about an hour away. And so he gets up around four, makes breakfast and makes me breakfast and then leaves it for me. Um, and then goes to work so and then when he gets off work goes to the gym on the way home from work and then we see him when he gets home and then we usually try to do something together so we go on another walk it's about 3 15 now and i'm gonna put him down for another nap and try to get some video editing done and eat some lunch <laughs> at 3 15. um I just kind of eat whenever I can. I did nibble on a couple things. All right, update. I'm finally eating some food and Zach got to come home early. So we're hanging out and Sweet. babe is sleeping on our bed. <laughs> He's on the monitor, which I just got spaghetti all over. <laughs> Life. All right, I got it cleaned up. <laughs> we're good. Zach is still sleeping and so is Liam, so I'm just trying to be quiet, but I figured I would share another thing that's part of my daily routine. Um, so after I pump, I have to clean the parts and everything, and um, then I just kind of set them out here to dry. Instead of boiling and stuff, I got these little Medela bags that they actually gave me at the hospital. And so I've been using them, which I'm literally on the last use <laughs> of this one. Um, but you can use them 20 times. You just put some water in, throw them in the microwave, and they're sanitized. Okay, so um, he is still sleeping. I can't believe it. It's about 5.30 now. Um, so after I feed him, once he gets up, we'll probably go on a walk. Okay, here we go. Go on our evening walk. Saber's ready. Oof. Very nice. A little bit cooler out. So we just got back from our walk. Um, Bugaboo is in cuddling with dad in the bedroom. And so I came out to make my oatmeal. This is my daily um, thing that helps with my lactation. So I've got some flaxseed oatmeal on the bottom, brewer's yeast, and some peanut butter with milk and blueberries. Love it. He's sleeping. You guys are so cute. Yeah, he's pretty much out. <laughs> Full tummy. <laughs> so guys, um, I know you can't see me because it's very dim in here, but here's proof that the camera is on. <laughs> That's his um, little night light sound machine. Um, but anyway, he is at nursing right now. He was up around 11, um, nursing. It was kind of rough getting him to sleep because he had taken two really good naps, long naps today. This is our middle of the night feed, or one of them. We'll probably be getting up again or between like four or five. Um, my dad goes to work, but I might end up relocating into the bedroom, I'm thinking, once he leaves. Morning, guys. Um, it's about 5 a.m. now. Zach made breakfast. Um, I ate some eggs. He's about to, he's getting dressed, about ready to leave for work now. Here he goes. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a little bit more to eat. I just fed him again and I'm um, gonna put him back down and then um, hopefully he'll go back to sleep for a little while until his next feed and then that'll be our 24 hours. Hey guys, what's up? So it's now about eight o'clock and Liam just woke up. I'm gonna give him this bottle because I'm gonna pump soon. And that's pretty much our 24 hours. So, you know, thanks for joining and see you on the next video.